So Tune Studio, as you can see here, is a, it's a mixing device that allows you to record music and any kind of audio straight to a fifth generation iPod or later. Um, which later hasn't come yet, but it'll work. Four channels, so you see the four channels here. The first two channels are XLR enabled, so these are XLR inputs. It's got phantom power, which is activated, and that allows you, depending on the type of mic, if you have phantom power enabled mics, you can, you can manage that. It's got EQ on all four channels. Channel three is quarter inch, as you can see. Channel four is RCA, as you can see here. Um, it's got monitor out, so we're actually piping the music through the speakers that you see in this room. Um, it's actually got a bi-directional USB port here. What that means is you can actually hook it up to a PC or Mac and record straight into that without the iPod. And also, you can actually import music in to the iPod from your PC or Mac. So use it with anything, it doesn't matter. You can use it with Pro Tools, GarageBand, anything. But you can actually bring music in as well. So if you've recorded some great beats or riffs on GarageBand, you can bring it in and then overdub using the Tune Studio. Um, it's got some effects. It's got a compressor right here, which is great. And that what that allows you to do is it mitigates the distortion and clipping by putting a ceiling on the uh, actual frequency. So you got the compressor, and then the rest of it is just you know levels and controls for audio. Um, one cool thing here is the record menu function. If you hit that, it goes straight into the record function, so it's one touch recording. Yeah. And I think another cool thing about this is that when you do record into the iPod, it allows for instantaneous playback. So it's, we don't use it as a storage device. You can play it back through the monitors, you, know, you can undock it and just listen to it uh, in terms of your iPod as music. So that's really cool. And if you're recording rehearsals or live jams or podcasts or anything, you can just do it really, really quick and you can play it back instantly so that you know exactly what it sounds like. That the iPod is so ubiquitous. This is a great tool to add functionality into the iPod. And I think the second thing is that it allows mobility. So if you're a, if you're a you know a musician on the road and you don't want to set it up and open up GarageBand and hook it up to your PC, you just pop in your iPod, hook in a microphone, and you're good to go. So the actual ease of installation setup is you know it's just so much better. Um, but yeah, I mean I think that's the main reason. It just allows more functionality. And you know musicians are very Mac focused. They all have iPods, and this is a great way not only to capture it, but to share music. Right, right. I think the, uh, the the target would be actually the GarageBand user, so people that are really looking to explore music at an affordable, easy solution. Um, so it's more of that, because I think professionals get it. They understand what this thing does, and it, it makes sense to them. You don't really have to market to them, because the functionality is so terrific. Right. But I think in terms of someone that's you know starting out, this is a really easy way to get started without having to buy thousands of dollars worth of equipment. Right. How much does it cost? $250. Right. We're looking uh, to launch it in October. October. Well, there's there's some products uh, more for the DJ side where you can dock a couple of iPods and kind of scratch and mix it together. But you know that's a different space. So that's not this. This is more of a recording tool. But in terms of what we do, nothing. Yeah. Start it off. You know, it's all plugged in, and ready to go. You hit the quick record menu, and it'll go straight to the record function, and then it's just one touch recording, and we are now recording. And so. as you see here, just control using the iPod interface, stop and save, and then it'll take a second to save it. And then if you want to play back, it's just like opening up anything and you just play. It's uncompressed WAV file, so the quality is pretty good, you know, and uh, 
and you can transfer it anyway, anywhere you want to.